What's up everybody, 915 Mang out here, having a good time, enjoying the outdoors with the family. Did a little hike today, went to uh, the Tin Mines in El Paso. Usually out here mountain biking hit on these trails, but today d decided to go ahead and do a little bit of something different with the family. And it was a good time guys, highly recommend it. I haven't done an unboxing in a while, so I went ahead and ordered some stuff off of Marine Depot and uh, thanks to my buddy D from Brooklyn who suggested the spin stream uh, adapters that go on the outlets of the Innovative Marine tanks I picked them up to go ahead and add some uh, random flow in here and then I reached out to Jeff from Marine Depot and I asked how many spin streams come in a package uh, I ordered two so that should tell you they only one comes in per package they're about 20 something bucks um so far we're gonna go ahead and open them we'll take a look at them and another thing that i ordered was some uh, poly filter these things are supposed to change colors whatever that that they detect like metals uh, copper they take out um, medicine things like that uh, and we're gonna see if they work or not for my tank I bought three packages of these and uh, I'm going to use them mainly on the 150 and then I'll have another package that I can use up on my Innovative Marine tank which is a Lagoon. I also got a new hat which was what I was rocking in the beginning of the video. Snapback, very nice, nice uh, Marine Depot logo or fish logo, you kind of unique because uh, only other reefers will notice you and recognize you for the uh, with the hat um, inside of it looks really good I have a red one now I have a blue one and uh, I like to get a different color um, they got different colors um, so what I'm thinking about doing with the uh, hat I'm gonna run a contest and then I'll go ahead the winner it's only gonna be one winner but the winner is gonna get a hat from Marine Depot which I'll pay for and then I'll have it shipped out to you and then uh, I'll give you more details of that for that contest because I haven't ran a contest here in a while but uh, I'll go ahead and announce that so stay tuned make sure you hit that uh, notification button be part of the notification squad um, so every time I do post a new video you guys will be up to date so let's take a look at the Innovative Marine 25 Gallon Lagoon. You can see the flow right here is kind of stale. Very little surface agitation. Um, I don't have another pump in here. I have algae growing on the back side of the wall. And uh, that's why I went ahead and ordered some of these spin streams to kind of turn it up a notch, make things uh, the way that they're supposed to be. Um, because with this tank, was when I broke down the old system I kind of just dumped everything in here had frags unorganized and uh, hopefully with the help of these innovative marine spin streams uh, we're gonna be good to go as you can see it comes with many adapters and uh, just like anything else once you start getting that coralline algae you're gonna want to go ahead and dip it in vinegar kind of keep your stuff clean the installation was pretty easy I just pulled that off and then slipped the uh, new head, the spin stream right on. It was really easy to do and I was up there running. So you just push it on and you're good to go. You don't have to glue anything down. You don't have to do anything like that. You just push it on and it's good to go. It's doing the random flow. It's very quiet. I do like that. Installation was a piece of cake. Now it's time to go ahead and do the opposite side and uh, I'm going to have two spin streams on here and, and uh, I really like it so far. I'm wondering if you can get another spin stream or a different pump and uh, put it on a maxi jet return. And if, it, if I can, I'm going to go ahead and do that with my acrylic tank. I'll just get another one from Marine Depot, probably like a single head and go from there. I really like it. It's doing good. It's quiet. And I am still going to add an additional pump to it. I'm going to add the uh, RPM nano pump that I have. And it works good. I have it laying around. I'm going to go ahead and install it on the Lagoon. Keep this tank up. 
gonna next time you see it, it's gonna look sweet. It's gonna be nice and clean. Bag's gonna be organized, and uh, all the frag plugs that don't have anything are gonna be pulled out of here. I may order a Aquamax reactor later on. The small version for this tank, I like that reactor because it's magnetic. You can adjust the flow on the bottom. Really easy to change out the media and uh, go from there. Also, the protein skimmer, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run a protein skimmer on the lagoon yet, but I think water changes will just be fine on it. Um, for the acrylic tank, I really didn't do a water change on it for like months and it still looked pretty good. I want to try out this poly filter media. I'm going to show you what it kind of looks like. It kind of felt like crystallized on the outside. You can see how shiny it is. I'm going to cut it up into pieces and put it in the overflow of or sump of my uh, 150 gallon tank. I'm using two packages for the 150. I uh, did chop it up just a little bit and the plan is to go ahead and pit it in between the weirs of the sump and uh, go from there. I'm not going to pit it in a reactor. I'm still using the uh, Clear FX Pro in a reactor and I think with this I should be good. Um, another project that I have coming up I'll show you in the next video but I'm going to be pulling out this live rock. I'm going to be using it for the lagoon, hopefully, and I'll show you what project I'm going to do with the lagoon. I'm going to make the lagoon that I am currently have frag plugs in. I'm going to do some kind of aquascape with these rocks. But for right now, until I set up my acrylic tank, it's just going to be a frag tank. But as you can see, that's the poly filter right there in between the weirs. Um, it's also going to be uh, acting as a filter floss. It's going to take out any metals. It's going to supposedly change colors. We'll get back with you on that. Um, right now I'm blasting this 25 gallon lagoon trying to get all the detritus out and uh, get this tank looking good, nice and clean and go from there. I've had this light here for a while. I got it from Reef Breeders. It's the nano version. It's a Coral Box Moon LED. It's pretty sweet, pretty legit. I'm thinking about adding a second light to this uh, aquarium. I think it'd be pretty good. That's the RPM blowing all the detritus all over the place. And you can see I got frag plugs all over the place with the spin streams are gonna look great. I moved that dragon breath algae into the back and I'm also gonna put some chato in the uh, back chamber right here. Since I don't have any uh, like protein skimmers and reactors and all that good stuff hooked up, I have plenty of space for macro algae which I think will also do good. I might look into getting a different light for them for the macro algae but for right now uh, that's just how I have it set up. The other video that I did was with the harlequin shrimp versus the chocolate chip starfish. You can see my harlequin shrimp is still eating this chocolate chip starfish. Um, if you want to see that video go check it out. Um, pretty cool. I'm also still having this like sludge on the bottom of the sand bed. What I'm going to be doing with the water changes is I'm going to just siphon this junk out and get rid of it little by little, um, kind of clean it up. It's a work in progress. I haven't added any new fish to the tank. I'm still with the purple tang, the blue regal or hippo tang, and I got uh, one of my black oscillaris clownfish and uh, the fish that I got from Petco, I forgot its name. And then I got the Melanaris Rass. I might add some more fish later on to the system, um, but for right now, I'm happy where I'm at and what I, what, you know, the amount of fish that I have in. The kind of fish that I do would like to add is some Antheas. I'll be picking some of those up from my uh, local fish store, the Coral Reef, and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm not really in a rush right now. I'm not even adding any more corals until I get this tank uh, where I want it. And, um, and I'm, I'm okay with that. I have plenty of stuff to give you guys updates on. You can see the Harlequin shrimp just eating this starfish. And uh, this guy is my MVP in my tank because it eats all the Astorina starfish. Had a lot of different 
Zoas, really nice Zoas. And I think the uh, little Asterinas got to them and uh, ate them because some I can't even find some of the nice uh, pallies that I have. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thanks for stopping by. I'll give you more details about the uh, Marine Depot hat that you can win that I'll pay for in an upcoming video. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe. You guys take care.